I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, downtown Chattanooga will undergo some major changes in the next year and a half. Developers are planning and building a record $400 million worth of projects in the central city. The number of downtown apartments will more than double to nearly 3,000, and more than 500 new hotel rooms are being built in the urban core. In total, the work is expected to double the city's downtown population. Chattanooga's Gold Building will become a luxury Weston Hotel. The 10-story building was the former Tennessee headquarters for Blue Cross Blue Shield. The investment is said to be more than $50 million. The hotel will include over 200 rooms. Work is expected to start this fall. A man is charged with trying to kill his wife by driving his car through the front door. Police say it happened in Hickson around 1 a.m. Thursday. Thomas and Teresa Jenkins had been going through a divorce, and a report says Thomas had alcohol in his system. Officials say the incident caused up to $15,000 in damage. Thomas is being held on a $125,000 bond. He will appear in court August 11th. A GPS employee is suing the school for alleged age discrimination. 66-year-old Barbara Hodges has worked as an admissions executive for Girls Preparatory School for more than 20 years. According to the lawsuit, she was demoted because she got tired at certain events due to her age, and the school hired a replacement who was 20 years younger. Hodges alleges that the school demoted her to a receptionist and cut her salary. Police say a Ray County woman forced an 8-year-old to drink dish soap and then taped his mouth shut. Authorities also say the boy's hands were burned. Now 32-year-old Amy Oliver is arrested on child abuse charges. The boy was treated and released. He and his two siblings have been removed from the home. Oliver has been jailed on a $400,000 bond. Telecom experts say AT&T was the cause of Tuesday's five-hour cell phone outage. The outage affected all major carriers and much of the southeast. A spokesman for Kentucky's Emergency Management Division says one of AT&T's fiber optic cables was cut along the Kentucky-Tennessee border. The source of the alleged cut remains unknown. AT&T says it's still investigating. Tennessee National Guardsmen will now be allowed to carry weapons at state armories and facilities. The new rule applies to Army and Air Guard members with valid permits. It comes more than two weeks after five servicemen were killed at military facilities in Chattanooga. The truck driver in the nine-vehicle I-75 crash has been added to Tennessee's top ten most wanted list. 39-year-old Benjamin Brewer is considered a fugitive from justice. Six people were killed in the June wreck after his tractor-trailer failed to stop. There's a $1,000 reward for information leading to his arrest. The North Shore restaurant scene is evolving. A new Cuban rum bar and cantina is coming to Cherokee Boulevard. Embargo 62 plans to open August 10th. The restaurant will offer Cuban sandwiches and 70 different types of rum. Also, the North Shore subway is moving into a building being constructed right next door. Once subway makes the switch, Stone Cup Cafe will move into its current space. Dollar General is opening new stores in Chattanooga. A location on South Broad Street opened last weekend, and a new store on Wilcox Boulevard will open August 15th. Finally, this weekend is tax-free for back-to-school shoppers. Tennessee and Alabama are waiving sales taxes today through Sunday. School starts August 13th in Hamilton County. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 84 degrees. Tonight's low will be around 69. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news at timesfreepress.com.